Hey Cubs, it's Savannah and Brecken. Now let's tune in for today's video, video broadcast. Our largest charity event of the year is Festival of Giving. We brought in 7,665 non-perishable food items for Salvation Army and $2,645.11 for Valley House last year. We plan on bringing over 8,000 cans in $3,000 this year. The prime time that brings in the most donations per category, money, canned food, and ramen noodles will win a prize per grade level. Your prime time should be collecting as the event is almost over. In the drama room, Mr. Ramirez prime time has a hot chocolate for only one dollar. A movie will play will be playing in the morning, so come and stay out of the cold. Miss McFarland's prime time has donuts for sale, and it's two donuts for one dollar. The donuts are being sold in B building at the snack den. We are raffling a mystery box filled with surprise food and fun. One dollar per ticket or six for five. This week only, Mrs. Zemke's prime time will be serving pancakes in the mornings in room B10 for one dollar. Miss Reynolds prime time will be selling suckers and bags of candy during seventh grade lunch, seventh grade prime time, and in Miss Reynolds office before and after school. The suckers are 25 cents and bags of candy and others are 50 cents. Ms. Groberg's primetime will be having a photographer here Friday, December 12th to take pictures of students and their friends. It will run from 1035 to 1235 in the front foyer outside the lunchroom. Some wild hats will be available to accessorize with and you can wear your ugly sweater as well. It is $2 per person and the photos will be delivered the last week of school before Christmas break. So get your group together and have a fun Friday. Mr. Garcia's primetime is selling raffle tickets for a movie basket, a gum basket, cookie basket, student drawings, and a coffee cake. Each item is separate drawing. Tickets are a dollar for one, three dollars for five, five, and five dollars for seven. Available during sixth grade lunch before and after school. Everything earned through these are a festival of giving, so support the event. Any students who do not get pancake packets for school for ski club can pick them up from the office. You should have two packets, one with information for yourself and the other for your parents. Hi the Cubs, I'm Brindley and now for campus news. We interviewed some 7th graders asking what they want for Christmas this year. Here's what they said. What I want for Christmas is um, a dog. Is a new iPhone. The dirt bike. Oh yeah. I want an Xbox One. To go to Montana to see my cousin. There's a phone because I don't have one. <laughs> Multicolored leggings. It's an iPad. What I want for Christmas is fry sauce. I want the world to be a happy place. Thank you for that interview. The volunteer that we interviewed got involved with the Salvation Army because she wanted to be a missionary worker. Instead of going to another country, she de decided to stay here and help her own community. It is surprising how much need we have in our own town. Heart beats calling my name. I hear the sound of the sirens breaking the chains all I know. I need you. Uh, not out drowning again. As the Salvation Army, we were based on the soup, soap and salvation, and the same thing applies today. We make food parcels here each week, and we do between 120 to 150 food parcels out of our Royal Lake branch. We particularly love having tinned food that is non-perishable, which is like tinned tomatoes, baked beans, spaghetti, pasta or rice. The other things we love getting are muesli bars, crackers and things that we can put in school lunches because parents are desperate for things in their children's school lunches and we have freezers that we are able to put bread and any other frozen things in. It's a bonus for our clients but we know that we can't always rely on it because we don't always have it in stock but we are always grateful for that sort of thing. I like working here because Salvation Army helped me when my children were little and I wouldn't be anywhere else and I like seeing their faces because they look so surprised when you give them the parcels. 
they always say thank you, thank you very much, very much. It's like, yeah, okay, it's all right. Hmm, I wonder what I should do with this can. Aren't you hungry? You should eat the cans. You should donate the can instead. That's the better choice. Aren't you craving some hot soup? You should really be craving some service. That's what's best. I mean, I know I'm hungry and I could go for a can of soup. You should really donate this. It will be better for the best. What do you choose, Caitlin? I think I should donate it. Tomorrow's lunch. We will be having chef salad, string cheese, pineapple, garlic breadstick, low-fat milk, taco bar, and ham and cheese milk. Hey there, Cubs. I'm Allison, and now for birthdays. December 10th, Paige Fulmer. December 11th, Rojas Hernandez, Amaya Voorhees, Kenny Willemander. December 12th, Parker Bingham, Irene Berseno, Daniel Phillips, Melissa Soto. Hi, I'm Carly, and now for word power. What does the word winkle picker mean? Is it A, to gulp down quickly and greedily, B, to have big hair, C, a sick and weak person, or D, a style of shoe or boot with a sharp and pointed toe? And the answer is D, a style of shoe or boot with a sharp and pointed toe. Hola Cubs, I'm Trevor, and now for Brain Drain. What is the shape of a candy cane modeled after? Is it A, a fish hook, B, a constellation of stars, C, Cane Saint Nick, the Cane Saint Nick used, or D, a shepherd's crook? And the answer is D, a shepherd's crook. Hey Cubs, I'm Ivy, and now for today in history. On this day in 1777, General George Washington begins marching 12,000 soldiers of his Continental Army from White Marsh to Valley Forge, Pennsylvania for the winter. As Washington's men began crossing the Schuylkill River, they were surprised by a regiment of several thousand British troops led by General C Charles Cornwallis. Cornwallis came across the continent Continental forces by chance as he followed General Washington Howe's orders to forage for supplies in the hills outside of Philadelphia. Hey Cubs, I'm Aubrey and now for where in the world are we? This city is the capital of Ireland. It was established by the Norse in about 841 BC. The National Museum of Ireland is located in this culturally rich city. The famous St. Patrick's Cathedral is located here. Is it A. Limerick, Ireland, B. Galway, Ireland, C. Cork, Ireland, or D. Dublin, Ireland? And the answer is D. Dublin, Ireland. Oh hey there Cubs, I'm Savannah and now time for recycling. Recycling one ton of plastic saves how many gallons of water? Is it A. 3,000, B. 1,000, C. 5,000, or is it D. 6,000? And the answer is B. 1,000. Hey Cubs, I'm Georgia and now for weather. There will be a high of 50 degrees, a low of 38 degrees, and 10% chance of precipitation. Hey Cubs, I'm Faust, and now for sports. Saturday there will be a girls basketball conference tournament at 9 o'clock a.m. at O'Leary and Twin Falls High School. Hey Cubs, I'm Charity, and now for today's quote. In three words, I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on Robert Frost. That's all for today's news and announcements. Have a fabulous day.